Hey everyone, welcome back to Danganronpa. Uh, this is, is part five, I think we're on now. Uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> look, we just started all this and I've already forgotten which part we're on. Oh boy. Um, but we're here in the dining room with uh, Sayaka and, and we have a tutorial. I know, cliffhanger tutorials are the best, aren't they? Absolutely. I've been sitting here wondering what this tutorial was going to be for. <laughs> for like hours, I know. Oh, hours and hours. It's been days. It has been like 33 days, and I still don't know what this tutorial 33 is. 33 days, specifically. <laughs> and two seconds. <laughs> two seconds, yes. All right, let's find out what the tutorial is. So I, right. it's kind of sudden, I know, but here comes the tutorial. Right now, I'd like to talk about reactions. Ooh, reactions. You're going to be talking to Sayaka, right? No, I'm going to go find Hina. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm good talking to Sayaka. Well, when you're ta while you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. Purple words. <laughs> I reject your purple words. <laughs> when purple words show up, if you press the right mouse button, you'll go into reaction mode. I reject your purple words. <laughs> At this point, you can make you can use the WASD buttons to make a selection, and the left mouse button to confirm it. Also, when it comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever-important school life. Alright, fine. So this is what you do. You right-click, shows reaction, and then you click that. Ah, have you gone ahead and used it already? Well, that's just wonderful. Make sure you keep it in mind as the story keeps on moving forward. Okay, so I have a question. Is is this omnipotent voice that we're hearing, is that just narrator, or is that the headmaster's voice through the speakers and just happens to know what we're doing because there's cameras everywhere? All of the above. Okay. <laughs> um, so, what time is it right now? What? Seven o'clock? At night? Uh, um... You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. You like how the whole aesthetic changed from yellow to blue? Yeah, I just noticed that. That's <laughs> awesome. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. So you gotta think, okay. Makoto got to the school at 7.10 a.m. Got knocked out, woke up at 8 a.m., went to the entrance Yeah, thing. I was gonna say, I didn't remember what time he woke up at. That was 8 a.m.? Yeah, he woke up right when the meeting was supposed to start. So okay. he went to the entrance hall, met all 14 other students, then went to the gym, took care of meeting Monokuma, learning about the school and everything, and got knocked out. Assuming that took even an hour to go through all of that, which probably didn't, but maybe it did, that would be about 9 a.m. when he got knocked out, and it's now 7 p.m. He's been knocked out for 10 hours. That's a long-ass time. <laughs> that was a pretty damn hard hit that we just got. <laughs> and then monitors. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. Right now, it's just showing the school progress. I mean, from my point of view, it's just showing darkness. There's nothing on this monitor, but okay. <laughs> You're not wrong. I don't, <laughs> I don't even want to think about when he might show up on that thing next. Their school crest is darkness. It is. Erg. All right, what else do we got? Uh, uh, oh, hello. A surveillance camera. Oh, I hate the idea. Yeah. We, 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 already, we already have that one. But hey, coin! Coin! Uh, let's see. And then there was just the, the back door this way. I'm not go going to go wandering around. I'm just going to wait here patiently. Because I'm a good boy. Makoto, you're no fun. Also trees. Oh, she is 2D um, as fuck. Right? Why are you so paper? <laughs> hey, um... By the way, Makoto... 
Huh? What is it? Um... Well, it's just... I know this is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. Damn it, woman, you've given me two options here on which one I'm supposed to react to. And technically uh, there's what? three. We could react to continuing the self-introduction, we can react to wanted to ask you something, or we could say screw your reactions and just keep going. Is this where I get to choose? Go ahead. Oh dear. Alright, let's react to wanted to ask you something. Alright. What did you want to ask me? Hmm. Makoto, did you happen to go to Blackroot Junior High? Were you maybe in class too? Y yeah, actually, I was. <sighs> I knew it! I went there too. I was in class four though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was. That she remembered me! We'd never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um... Hey, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. Well, that's true. But there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I'd never been the type of person to ever really stand out. Quit being such a basic bitch. I am, like, super basic bitch. I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Oh god, Pakoto. <laughs> Aww. What are you talking about? You're so strange. S strange? That's... <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna leave it at her laugh. She started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. Ah. Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. N no, I'm really not. <laughs> I'm nothing at all compared to all you ultimates. <laughs> but you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Sorry. Okay. And to thank you for helping me out, I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. Ooh. Huh? My assistant? <laughs> yep. I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it... It just gets me pumped! <laughs> <laughs> hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it. Taka threw open the dining hall doors right as Sayaka said that. Hey! Ah, Makoto, Sayaka. So you two got here first, huh? How unfortunate. Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. <laughs> I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Got it! Bruh, we were here for like... 10 minutes. Well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear I'll win, no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. <laughs> what the fuck kind of justice are you talking about? Arriving to the what? dining hall room first? Have, have, have we wronged you by getting here before you? <laughs> Put your eyebrows away, dude. <laughs> Goodbye, eyebrows. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? And soon after that... Everyone else came strolling in, one after another. 
after a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the hall. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. He would be the one to lead the meeting. Also, Bianchi had Toko just off on their own over there. He just really likes to be heard. Hold on a sec. Ah, well, she took care of most of that line. I'll, I'll leave it there. What are you talking about? That is not what it said there. What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> what about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silver haired girl? Ah. Uh, oh yeah, Hyoko. Hmm. What about her? Aww. She's not here. What? <laughs> he didn't even realize. <laughs> Look at how much his eyebrows have shortened. What? Look at how much his eyebrows have shortened. His eyebrow grow with his confidence. <laughs> this is canon, clearly. <laughs> I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um... I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? Tears. What? But everyone just shook their heads. Yeah, your voice cut out there for a second. That was weird. Sorry. <laughs> huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why oh, well. hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... Yes, indeed! Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to live. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. Is it possible? Was she really... No, no. I'm just overthinking things. <laughs> Darn it, Kyoko. You're really going to be late like this on the first day of school? Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she would be late. A most unbecoming personality trait. Come on. You're being a real jackass right now, you know that? I agree with her. <clears throat> well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? And his eyebrows are back. There they are. Now then. I declare that the first session of the Hope Speak Academy briefing meetings has begun! Um... Makoto, actually, first of all... I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> you know... Huh? What's up? <laughs> I feel like I really have become your personal assistant. Don't you agree? I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, you've already done so much as my assistant. Makoto's afraid to stand up. A little bit. Be <laughs> shy. Alright, so this is your opportunity to talk to random characters. Because they're all oh, here. Oh boy. So you do want to talk to Let's start with... Junko. Junko. Pink haired girl. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, no. Door. Junk. No. Uh, no. Uh, I don't think I should leave right now. Oh wait. Oh. I can't make. <laughs> well, I guess we don't have any option. All We're right. Well, I've got, I've got the choice of Sayaka. Um, okay. So since you're in the dark about all this. Let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone split up to investigate different parts of the building, but... You see? Byaki and Taka went on, each went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. So I think now if you click on the reactions, that's when they're going to tell you like what they found, what they did. So do you want to just go through these reactions like one at a time? 
Oh, you don't have to pick one or the other, you get to pick both? You basically click on- you're gonna go through her whole dialogue and choose each one anyway, so that okay. way you can get the okay. report. Then yes. <laughs> I wanted to try and find some clues as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all from me. Wow, you're useless. Really? That's it? Hm. If I'd uncovered anything, naturally I would have more to say. But I didn't, so I don't. Uh, right. Uh... Understood. Okay. Yeah, this is just a constant talk to Sayaka. Um... So that way she's... <laughs> you see. <laughs> she lets you check on each one. Oh, amazing. <laughs> I spent some time looking around the dormitory, and listen to me. There, I made the discovery of the century. I found that there was exactly one room for each person. Ah. Oh. Well, yeah, I figured that out before anything else. He's so proud of himself for figuring out that everyone has a dorm room. You know, yeah. we'll, we'll we'll let him have his victories, and he can be happy. Well, Makoto might. The others are not. <laughs> yeah. Each door already has a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. Huh. And each room was attached to a keychain, with the owner's name precision etched in onto it. Which confirms that the room that I was in earlier is, in fact, my- And plus! And Chihiro and I found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Um... Your next how did you door figure that out? <laughs> Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> well, each room also has a private bathroom, which could also lock. Hmm. But it looked like there were only locks on the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. Huh? But when, when I checked the bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check that later. Hey, come on! Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here a while? Quiet down and listen! Well, better to have than have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. <sighs> that can't be all you have to report, can it, Mr. Honored Student? Uh... Got it! Yeah. That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. Nice. Called out. Um, All right, Saika, shut up, shut up. You see. Shut up. It looks like Leon, oh, Hiro, we're all together. Junko, and Chihiro all grouped up together. Hmm. Makes it easy, at least. We went all up and down the school, double checking the windows in all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was. Huh. Nothing. Not a damn thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge, even a little bit. He's got an unamused face right now. Yeah, that's definitely a face of, we tried to rip metal off of the wall and it didn't work. <laughs> we tried to rip metal off the wall, you know, metal that's held on by bolts that are larger than my head. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that, bud. What should I do? There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. The school really has been totally cut off. This is bad. This sucks. Bad, 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 bad! It really sucks. It sucks, 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 sucks! What the hell are we gonna do? Hey, come on! God damn, calm down. You're, gonna, you're starting to make me nervous. Okay. Um... And Sayaka, 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 Sayaka. Okay, here's two more. All the right. same goes for Hina, Sakura, and Mondo. Celeste, Toko, and Hifumi were left over, so they joined up. Hmm. We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. Sorry. But we didn't find a thing. Sorry. Yo. I went back to the main hall, thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. What? But even with Sakura and me both, it wouldn't budge. We had it with desks and chairs and nothing. Just breaking desks and chairs on the... I mean, the why door the in the front. Right? <laughs> Smash it. Shit. It was hard as like metal. Oh my god, really? <laughs> oh my, it was hard as metal? Oh, dude. Dude. 
Hey, uh, Mondo, I think the corn is slipping to your brain. <laughs> corn brain. Yes, indeed. Well, yes, it is metal. Oh, this sucks. Anyway, if we're out of here, it's not going to be through there. Aww. I feel like I could just cry, but no. I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. So then... I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But... But there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. Hmm. In other words, at this point we are only able to search the first floor. However... We can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there's at least a chance it may lead to a way out. Interesting. Uh, yes. Oh shit. Too far. Um you yes. Alright, last one. Let's see. If I'm being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Most unfortunate. Honestly, we are not exactly the types to go running around a school like a gaggle of junior detectives. The hell's wrong with you? What the hell were you thinking? Just sitting around the gym the whole time? <laughs> well, it's not like any of you invited me along. Nobody said, hey, come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. What the? If you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> Forget it. Like, I'd want to go anywhere with a dirty slut like you. Cat fight! Huh? Slut? <laughs> your mind is as thin as your body. You make me sick to my s stomach. Are you for real? I, I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to someone you just met? Hey, come on! Alright guys, everybody just calm down, okay? All the stress is bad for your skin, you know. Uh. Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close now. You're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on, Sayaka. <laughs> when Makoto understands a little bit more of what's going on than Sayaka, this is bad. <laughs> hey, um... So that's what they have to say, huh? Then I guess I'm the only one left. And now we talk to her again. Alright, what do you have to say? I went and had a look around the dining hall. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen, and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. That's good. I guess we don't have to worry about food, at least. But... Sure, for now. But even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? <laughs> you could just eat sesame seeds or something. Hmm? Huh? What am I, a parakeet? Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. Um... At least, that's what Monokuma said. Huh? You saw him? Okay. Yeah. He came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge, told me that, then disappeared again. He was so fast. I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with a remote control. That's... A weaponized toy that can just appear from nowhere? I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But... But was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or anything? <laughs> Monokuma just tries to eat Sayaka. <laughs> eh? Eat her? <sighs> um, what do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? Oh, God. Dude, dude, no. Ifumi? I'm about to no. lock you in your room. Ooh. Please, can we? Come on, man! Hey, you bastard! What the hell, Fatty? You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk dude. Actually... <laughs> Not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. <laughs> hey! Hey, stop screwing around, all of you. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could all just die any second. <sighs> shit. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something, or... 
voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. Um, you're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. Huh? Oh, that's her. <laughs> <laughs> do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Yo! Kyoko, where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It appears to be a map of Hope Speak Academy. A map? <laughs> what the? Where did you find this? Well... It- oh. I don't know what I was waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter where I found it. What the heck?! It does matter! You're really freaking us out right now! But more important... Never mind that, what's it mean? It would seem... Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out in precisely the same same way as Hope Speak Academy. So what you're saying is, this really is Hope Speak Academy. It's true. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. But it looks like it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations, huh? However... I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. Um... But then, this really is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. Huh? So stupid it's not even possible. This is where the country's future elite are supposed to come and learn? But... But if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? <sighs> hey, come on, guys. Let's just stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo! Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this was all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope Speak put this all together, right? <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth. You know? Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill, and everything will work itself out. <laughs> she seems unimpressed. What's your problem? Why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> I am just happy, that is all. It seems splitting up to investigate was a good idea after all. <sighs> Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time. We didn't find a way out. Didn't find who's behind this. We still have no idea what's going on. Oh! Huh? Is it not crystal clear to you what is going on? Are you okay with this? It is perfectly obvious that we have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. <laughs> you didn't have to go and say that. I was trying not to think about it. No way out. We're trapped here. What are we gonna, supposed to, to do? <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it! Don't even joke about that. Um... Everyone, just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like... There's gotta be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. That's... Live here? Are you saying we should just accept it? Do you understand? A lack of adapt... Ad oh, I'm gonna try that again. A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually... As someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm... We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and be, puni 
and punished accordingly. Let's see. So regarding this night time, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at night time should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Huh? But why? Are you okay with this? The way things are now, even every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. Could it be? We will all be afraid someone might try and come to kill us. Huh? What? <laughs> if we have to worry about that night after night for who knows how long, it will wear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as a kind of preventative measure? Indeed. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. What can we do? I see what you mean, but I think I can agree to that. It's like the little goth Alita said. Without something like that, we're just gonna self-destruct. Listen to me! The little goth Lolita. The little goth Lolita. On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. What? Hey, you can't just decide to speak <laughs> for us. This is fine. <laughs> she just takes it as that. <laughs> She's like, yep, I'll accept that. All men just share one brain cell. So everyone is in agreement. Good. <laughs> then if you'll excuse me. Huh? Huh? Wait, where are you going? Let's see. It is almost night time. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are well. So, goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural. I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. Um... So I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. Huh. Adaptability. Hmm. So, Mr. Chairman, what next? One person already left. <laughs> um... Well then, what say we call an end to today's meeting? You understand? Like she said, it's almost night time anyway. We can reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't have a choice. We can't go for long without getting some sleep. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> hey, Mondo. Corn head. Mondo, your corn is showing. <laughs> your corn is showing. So we have to just give up? <sighs> That's all fine and good for today. Well, what do we do, do tomorrow? So in the end... Our only option is to split up and look around again. And let everyone know if we find anything. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Aww. Th then we're done for today? Good. I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Um... Makoto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. Bitch, Makoto just woke up from a 10-hour nap. Yeah, I just, we just woke up. We're raring to go. Alright, we made it back to our room. And I think this is where we're going to stop God, the episode God. for today. <laughs> oh, alright. Yep. We, we basically oh, we made, made it through it. our first uh, day of school. Hooray! <laughs> we made it! Nobody died yet! We made it through our first day, and we only died twice. I, I mean, yeah, nobody died except for us twice. <laughs> yes! <laughs> We're keeping everyone alive by dying. Of times. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a Makoto death counter up, apparently. <laughs> well, well, we're at two for now, so we'll see what we'll get as we continue. <laughs> Well, thank you all so much for coming in, joining, and watching this, because that's really fun. Uh, thanks, T-Rex, for joining me again, and we will see you in the next episode. See y'all later.